Yo, what's up, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're reacting to sad story of Harlem, Harlem Spartans from Kid Nerd. Shout out to this guy. Uh, sad story of Harlem Spartans. Uh, Mr. Mac is one of the guys I've reacted to a lot. Uh, I reacted to who else? SD, apparently from Harlem Spartans as well. Sad story, I don't know what that's about. Oh, yeah, Mr. Mac. Uh, I reacted to Mr. Mac. I don't even know what the song was. What the song name was, but it was kind of a tribute kind of song. Uh, apparently, a lot of his friends have died, went to prison. So I guess this is what the sad story is. But yeah, let's get into it. This is your boy Kid Nerd here, back with another video. And today we're exploring the rise and fall of South Kid London jewel group Harlem Spartans, and what mm -hmm. a lot of young people nowadays can take and learn from their I rise and to fall. This song but before I get into this video, video, follow me on Instagram for a chance to win a hundred pound Amazon gift card. Insta is on the screen one. now, so get following for the chance to win that. Let's get. If you want a gift card, go follow Kid Nerd YT on Instagram. It's probably an old video. Though. Into the video. So Harlem oh. Spartans is a gang located in the South London town of Kennington, and Harlem South. really put their okay. area on the map with smash hits like Kennington, where it started, which is now on 16 million views. And around these 16 times in 2000, oh. Did I... it's like Kennington, where it started, which is now on si 16 million from 2017. Let me know if you want me to react to that one. 16 million 16 million views Crazy. and around these times in 2016 to 2017 they were really the biggest things out in drill and were even okay. one of the biggest pushers for uk drill to be played in the international level so who's the biggest gang now is it it sounds like it's not them anymore because of the sad story but is it uh fucking central sea is he in some gang i don't even know is uh, oh yeah is, is it maybe suspect an active gang Actually, gang of 51st. I don't know. A lot of you are spamming me to react to suspects, so could be them. With rappers like Drake being heavy fans of the group, and they were even big influences for overseas jewel groups to start making their music, like the popular Australian jewel group, 1-4. But behind all these numbers and recognition, real stuff was going on in the streets, and due to their come up being so fast and explosive, it was clear that the group hadn't adjusted yet to keeping the streets and their music separate, which resulted in the massive okay. eventual downfall of their group. So before Harlem Spartans became a thing, the local okay. gang in the Kennan area was called Cuckoo, also known as Black Prince, who were quite small and not really that recognized gang in South London. In times where South London was a complete war zone, this was during the infamous beef between the two neighboring areas. He said war zone, what? Areas in South London called Brixton and Peckham, where Kenton was on Peckham's side against Brixton. Kenton didn't really have that much involvement in this feud, but in 2006, they did stab to death a 15 year old Brixton gang member called Ty involvement in this feud. But in 2006, they did- 2006? I mean, that was a while ago. <laughs> Well, yeah. He stabbed to death a 15 year old Brixton gang member called Tiny Alien right after he finished his year 11 GCSE exams. <sighs> so, the area Kenton, where Harlem Spartans are 15. from, has historically always had a feud of Brixton gangs. And throughout the years, the area has picked up quite a few other enemies, like Peckham, who they were close allies with during their war against Brixton. But okay. despite the area's smaller gang size, they have still managed to hold down all their beef. And then the younger generation of Kenton started to form, who we know now today as Harlem Spartans. Most members from Harlem went to a school called Tennyson in Oval, South London. But this school also included a lot of kids from Brixton as well as Kennington. And obviously, Kennington and Brixton olders were beefing at the time. But this wasn't a concern for Harlem members during school. And during school, members of Harlem and kids from Brixton were actually friends. And quite a few Harlem huh. members used to rep Brixton gangs during secondary school. Like Mr. Mac, who used to rep the Brixton hey, gang. Hey, Mr. Mac, I know that guy. 17. And Lowski, who used to rep the Brixton gang 150. I think I know and that guy as well. even in a few songs, Harlem members and members from an opposing Brixton gang called 410 Reference their friendships in their songs. Oh, that's crazy. But these friendships were before Harlem was really properly formed into a group. Wait, and that was that was that guy. AM is his name, right? I think that's him. He was fucking hard in one of. In, in another video, some top 10 now, and even But these friendships were before Harlem rappers. was really properly formed into a group. And after Harlem members left Tennyson School and started to go to college, all the members of the Cuckoo Gang, who were running Kenton at the time, started to take these younger Harlem members under their wing. We started off with Harlem members chilling on the Kenton blocks alongside the older Cuckoo Gang. And then eventually, the younger started to trap off Cuckoo members' lines and making money alongside them. And this is how a lot of gang affiliation starts, with older members bringing you in to chill around the gang, which will eventually. Okay. 
eventually yeah. result in you making money with the olders, probably yeah. trapping. And then eventually, after spending a lot of time with these guys, you will see them as family. And the next thing you know, you're throwing up gang size and riding for these people. Yeah. So while Harlem was starting to chew in Kenton more heavily with the older gang, Cuckoo, Brixton gangs who beefed Cuckoo started to recognize the younger Harlem members to be wrapped up in this beef as well. And this was really the start of Harlem Spartans gang involvement. Originally, the gang came under two separate sets, one called Kenton Park and one called Younger Cuckoo. But eventually, the lines got blurred between these two and they just started to roll as Harlem Spartans. Then in 2014, the yeah. group started to record music at a local youth center and started releasing some tracks in 2015 with early tunes like Re Up, 3000 Savage and Shit Them coming from the two Harlem rappers Blanco and Biz as well as other rappers TG Million and Zico dropping solo tunes and younger Harlem members like C-Rose dropping some exclusives. But C-Rose didn't... What is this picture though? You could have put some better picture of him. There must be a better picture. Allow himself to grow in music properly. Because in the <laughs> same year of 2015, he was convicted of manslaughter and was sentenced to 16 years in prison. It was really when oh. Harlem rapper Lowski jumped okay. on the scene okay. that the gang really started to get some recognition. And the song that really took off was Lowski's song Hazards in June 2016, which was literally the song of the summer Hazards. that year. You couldn't go anywhere in London without that song being played. And the reason why this song took off... Okay, let me know if you want to react to that one. Sounds like a banger so much wasn't just because it sounded good at the time this was one of the most disrespectful drill tunes out with a couple mm. direct disses towards a Brixton gang called 150 when Lowski said and this is ah. in reference to the four 150 members who had died ah. at the time which were Pistol, SQ, Gores and Jay Minner but one of his next lines was one of the most disrespectful lines in drill hey, Gora was a respected member of the Look, 150 gang who had died coffee. in 2015 2015, after he borrowed money off another 150 member but refused to pay it back so the other 150 member just shot and killed him now after Lowski just mocked Gora 150 members weren't happy about this obviously and the 150 rapper called Styx shortly after posted a video of himself on Harlem's block also in some leaked Twitter messages between the same members Styx and somebody else you can see Styx says they're mashing work on the field use which basically means that Harlem were putting some real pressure on them on the streets and the field use that Styx was referring to was another gang called Four. 10 in Brixton who were allied with the 150 gang and were beef in Harlem. For a fairly newly established gang, Harlem were really starting to make some noise in the music and on the streets. There's hella videos on YouTube of Harlem members attacking 410 members on CCTV and cameras. Shortly huh. after the release of Lowski's diss track Hazards in 2016, he went to jail for possession of a knife, which he got quite ah. a bit of time for. But luckily for him and the group, the other went to jail for possession of a knife, which he got quite a bit of time for. But luckily for him and the group, the other members of Harlem picked up where he left off and started growing the Harlem Spartans name, dropping UK Drill Classics at the end of 2016 and the start of 2017, like Call Me a Spartan and Kenan and... Uh, Kenan and started, yeah. Let me know if you want to react to that one. I think I said it in this video already. This Call Me a Spartan, 10 million. Bro, what are these views? Mr. Mac. Let me know if you want me to react to that one. Right? Mr. Mac is nice. Like, call me a Spartan and Kenton where it started. Oh, Mr. Mac is on that replay one as well. all throughout the UK in 2017. And even got the Canadian rapper Drake co signing Harlem Spartans. And Whoa, really? And Snapchats with Harlem lyrics. Quite early on, another Harlem huh. rapper called Jojo was arrested and sentenced to seven years in prison for possession of a knife, a firearm, grievous bodily harm, and robbery, which is a real small sentence for all them crimes. And it's a shame because Jojo had the real potential to blow up in the drill scene. But on the other side of the pond, they're up. 410 in Brixton were also killing the music game in yeah, 2017. That's especially their Mad About Bars, which is on. Oh! 20. Almost 29 million views. Let me know if you want me to react to that one. Mad About Bars. Season 2, episode 37. Yeah, let me know if you want me to react to that. 30 Holy million shit. Views. And both 410 and Harlem were at the top of the game in 2017 and would even often sneak this each other in hit songs. But despite Harlem Spartans really taking off in 2017, 2017 was also their start of their downfall. After the Call Me a Spartan oh. video was released, Harlem rapper TG Million got into a high speed chase with one of his ops. When catching up, he stabbed him, causing grievous bodily harm, and he was eventually found guilty and sentenced to 12 years. This left the rappers. Wait. If you get a fucking video with 10 million views, you're not. Why would you still do that? Miz or Matt, Blanco, and Biz to hold it down for the group while the rest were inside. But that was no issue, with Miz or Matt being probably one of I, the best drill artists the Mizzle UK has Mac. ever seen, and Blanco okay. and Biz having. Oh, so he was, he was first on, the, on someone's uh, top 10 UK drill rappers of all time. 
So this guy apparently agrees. With Mizumat being probably one of the best drill artists the UK has ever seen, mm. and Blanco and Biz having their own unique style that fans love, with the three dropping some classics like 21st Century Spartans, Kent Nizzy and No Hook. But there was one issue. Fans started to notice that Mizumak and Blanco wasn't in the No Hook music video, despite it being their own song. Well, not too long before the Oops. video, Blanco and Mizumak actually got arrested themselves while Aww. riding on the ox with a gun and samurai sword. Mizumak, why? In February 2007. How are you gonna be the best artist or drill rapper in the UK and get oh, okay? Whatever. It was one o'clock in the morning, and both were in the back of a cab in Camberwell, South London, looking for ops. When their cab got pulled over and they were caught with a gun and samurai sword, Miz or Matt got six years and Blanco got three years. Wait, and what? it was starting to come clear that six years in 2017. So he's not even out now. Is he? I don't know, let me know, is Mr. Mac out or not? Harlem's beef with opposite areas started to take over their music and Harlem started to become very heavily monitored by police which just made everything hot for them because they were really putting in some work on the streets. Then in June of 2017, okay. Harlem's original main rapper Lowski was released Lowski. from jail and wasted no time releasing his first tune Teddy Bruckshaw which was an instant hit. Dropping other bangers like Money and Beef, Call Me Loose and his Tim Westwood freestyle and also at the end of 2017 dropping another song with a rapper called Maisky called Mummy's Kitchen which was a very oh. rude song to their own. Other, wait, what did he say? Dropping another song with a rapper called Maisky called Mummy's Kitchen, which was a very rude song to their ops. Oh, this song, uh, this song was on some top ten UK drill songs of all time, I think. And this was this was very nice. This song, at least a snippet. There was some nice flows in there. Maisky is from a gang called Moscow 17, which is a lad of Harlem. And their main beef was okay. with a gang called Zone 2, located in Peckham, South East London, which is also a very hot beef, which I won't go into too much in this video because I might make a separate video on this in the future. But throughout the Mummy's Kitchen song, they did dead ops in different street situations. It started to seem like Harlem was making a comeback though, with Lowski growing massively and younger Harlem members starting to jump on drill, like on drills in LM. And they were also starting to rack up views as well. So 2018 was looking like a good bounce back from Harlem. But then yeah, on May 5th, 2018, a car pulled up to Moscow 17's block, the gang which was affiliated with Harlem which I mentioned earlier, while a 17 year old rapper called GB from Moscow was playing football with another member called Incognito on their block. GB was shot and killed, but the gang who killed GB was actually trying to kill Incognito after Incognito beat a murder case of an affiliated member. And this murder is actually still unsolved, so I'm not gonna speculate- What? How's it uns unsolved? Then fucking- the, then the other guy see who murder case of an affiliated member and this murder is actually still unsolved so i'm not going to speculate who killed gb because i only talk about situations which have actually already been prosecuted for the death of gb made south london very very hot at the time okay. with both sides riding out heavily during the whole summer and both sides taking many snaps on each other's block and dissing each other i don't know what 2018 well that's a bit bait though right Recording at GB death scene. It's AM. Now what the? Was that attempted? Was it? Was it a murder? Nah, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Come outside, man. Come outside, man. Zone two. Moscow seventeen block. Very much. Incognito. Wonder what he has in that bag. Think it would. And two months after GB's death, unfortunately the beef was stepped up to another level. Rapper SA from Harlem was riding on his ox block on the back okay. of a moped, loaded with a gun looking for his ox. When yeah, he, he spotted crazy. some ops in the car, he got close and aimed his gun, but his gun jammed and he was stabbed five times. SA and his other accomplice drove away. Oh. Way after SA was stabbed, but after a half of a mile of riding away, the other accomplice pushed SA off the ped and shouted to the public to take him to hospital, more than likely to save himself from being wrapped up in the situation. The member who pushed SA off the ped was actually from Harlem's affiliated gang called Moscow 17, and of course, Harlem was not happy about one of their what? members pushing SA off the ped and leaving him to die. So both gangs. That is some fucking friendly fire right there. 
Moss started to go back and forth, which caused a big divide between them. But less than two weeks after SA's death, Moscow 17's leader whoa, whoa, whoa. was also Shit. stabbed to death on the same street where GB That's not a nice picture. was killed. And Incognito was even one of the only Moscow members left that Harlem was still cool with at the time. But after these recent L's, Harlem were riding a lot and were going on an absolute rampage. But at the same time, Harlem spotters were being monitored by the police heavily. Harlem rapper G Smarco ridden on his ox block for Bro, there are so many names here though. There's so many names to remember. Rival and were sentenced to 21 years in prison. Another Harlem rapper, Scratcher and GG, were riding out on their ops with a gun and were caught. Then were sentenced to 15 years combined. And another member of Harlem, Joe, was jailed for 10 years after stabbing the man in the head, leaving permanent brain damage. And what member the? T Trap, another member of Harlem Spartans, was jailed for 21 years after murdering a man who disrespected one of his friends. So as I said before, Harlem would just... He murdered a man who disrespected... What? I was for 21 years after murdering a man who disrespected. Like, I'd get you, you, like, punch him, punch him a little, I guess. I don't know. Do, don't fucking kill him. To one of his friends. So as I said before, Harlem were just going on the rampage after losing their friends and clearly started to focus more on their beef than the music. But Lowski was still holding it down Lowski. for the group musically. Still getting millions oh, yeah, of what views is he on doing? his songs. But in 2019, it seemed like the roads oh, no. were getting the best of him again. When he was arrested in his cab while he had a firearm on him. Leaving the Harlem <sighs> rapper Biz to be the only free rapper of Harlem Spartan still out. But when... <laughs> is he the only guy? What, is, what the fuck is he gonna do? Biz was going home after his last oh, music sorry. video called Beretta at the end of 2019, he started to get into an argument with some people on the phone, which he then arranged to meet the after phone. the argument. When he met the guys he was arguing with, he attempted to swing a mallet at the guys, but dropped it and was set upon Wait, and. He met the what? guys he was arguing with. He attempted to swing a mallet at the guys, but dropped it and was set upon and stabbed to death. Right after filming one of his best. To death. What? So the last guy in their fucking gang died music videos which is Jesus. now on 2.1 million views leaving the gang pretty much Wait, all wiped views? with his best music videos which is now on 2.1 million views leaving the gang pretty, pretty much all wiped out quite a few members of the Let gang know also got time for drug offenses like old boy he was caught when officers spotted people in a queue outside of his trap house and was sentenced <laughs> to two years and eight months for possession <laughs> they spot a fucking queue to buy Okay, whatever. And Snow, he was caught in Wales Yo. in a county land drug operation Snow. and was sentenced to four years. And Hector, he was caught drug trafficking and was sentenced to four years as well. Both rappers, Miz and Makalowski, have both been released from jail since and teamed up and made a song called On Me that went viral. And it okay. seemed like the gang might have been revived, especially after the rapper Blanco was also freed. But since then, Miz and Makalowski have both been sent back to jail and are currently <sighs> there right now. And this is the end to a sad... Okay, so Miz and Mac is... What, so he was free. I I don't even get this. Someone, please, please comment what the fuck happened there. He got six years in 2016 or 17, and then he got out for some reason, and then now he's in again. A story of a group who were on top but allowed the streets to consume what they had, which I really hope is a wake-up call to a lot of people that the streets really cannot lead to anywhere but death or prison. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been your boy Kid Nerd, and peace out. I did. 30 seconds left. I don't know what is the fucking art. What? What is this? Alright, that's cool. Whatever. Uh, yeah, shout out to fucking Kid Nerd. Uh, sad story of Home Spartans. That was fucking sad though. Like, all of them died. Oh, that sounds fucking weird. Well, a few people died in Home Spartans. Rest in peace to them. Uh. Yeah, a lot of a lot of names, a lot of songs, a lot of areas, a lot of things were mentioned in here. So I'm not gonna get everything probably. But yeah, if there if there are any songs uh, that were mentioned in there by Home Spartans that you want me to react to, please put it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll react to them and I'll see you next time.